yeah, no, I mean, he was kind of able to get free from his, his man out on the wing and create enough space to cross the ball, and I was able to sep separate myself from, from the center back and create a little bit of space, and, yeah, he hit, you know, perfect ball that I just directed into the, into the corner. Is there an art form to headers at all? I mean, yours was placed. I mean, you couldn't place it any better where you put it. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm sure it is. There's guys that are a lot better in the air than I am. I, I rarely score headers, to be honest, so I'm kind of really happy about this one. It doesn't happen uh, as often as I'd like. So, I, I, you know, I, I, I work on it, and, you know, it's, it's, it's fun when it pays off. Talk about the goal Alex had uh, right in, in stoppage time. And that just has to be a gut punch to the other team. There are only like two minutes left in stoppage time. Here you were one by the or one deal, and now it's two deal at the half. Oh, I mean, absolutely. Uh, you, you know, you, you get that sort of punch in the face right before half. It's, it definitely, you know, it can take some – some air out of that balloon, you know, just make, makes them, you know, doubt themselves and it makes it even harder to come back. So I thought the press was really good. We, we sort of forced them to make a mistake and he was able to, you know, break that pass and just throw on goal and finish it perfectly. You guys have been first since the start of the season. What's clicking for CSC? Uh, I mean, well, we're a good team. We have a lot of good players and... And I think that was the goal before the season, and, and that's our expectation. So we're, you know, that was always the goal, and, you know, we, we want to stay on top. And, you know, we, we know we, we have the, the team behind us coming in here. We, we play them back-to-back, -back actually. So, we, you know, we just got to keep, keep getting three points and keep growing that distance. How important is that game Saturday night, then, since you play on this Saturday and then the following Saturday? I mean, you don't want to lose twice to a team like that with six points on that. We don't want to lose twice to anyone. But I mean, now I mean we're we're going to get three points. It doesn't matter who we play. If it's number nine or number, especially at home, three points is the only thing that matters. So we're you know it's three games in what seven days, but it doesn't change our objective. We're going for the win. To be honest, we work on in, in training, just getting to the right spots and knowing that lads are going to be in and around the area. So once you can beat your man, if you you sort of confident there's someone going to be there, so you just you, you take a look and clip it and just hope for the best, really. And a great header from Marcus. So. Could you yeah. see him in? Yeah, yeah, I got a good view of it. So as soon as I saw it going close to him, I mean, we we normally pass to each other quite a bit in training, so it's nice in a game for it to, to pay off. Yeah, he is. He's, he's a midfielder. I mean, it's nice having a striker. You, you give him the ball, he's got a good chance of finding the back of the net, so I can't complain about that. And talk about your goal. Uh, coming in stoppage time like it did there in the first half, and that had to be a good punch to the other team. Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's always a, a good time to get a goal. I think a team going into the, the dressing room at half time just 1 0 down, they've got a little bit of hope of they can get back into it, and I think that, that late goal just makes it. A little bit more depressing for them going in at half time. Um, so yeah, I suppose goal's a goal, but to get it right at half time and to make it two nil, I think that's pretty devastating to be on the receiving end of that sometimes. Kind of take us through the goal. What happened? Um, we we work a lot on pressing, um, especially their defenders and just getting set. And I saw an opportunity. It was a bit of a, a bigger touch from their centre back, and you just sprint and, and hope for the best and try and predict where he's going and luckily it paid off today and just took the ball off him and then try and get yourself set and composed and just hit the target really. So, yeah. You guys stay in first place for this victory. Do you really care about the standings at this point in the season? Um, well, I mean, you can't look too much into it. Obviously, you want to try and continue to increase that gap at the top. Um, but it's still nice to be at the top of the table. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those where... Come the end of the season, the way soccer is in the U.S. with playoffs, you can't take too much. Obviously, you want to win the regular season as well, but I think if we can just continue to get better, so when it comes to playoffs, you're at the top of your top of your game. As good as the two goals were, uh, maybe the play of the night was that eight hours, the way he said. I mean, that was yeah. incredible. Yeah, I thought defensively we were solid as well. With shape was good. They had a couple of chances, but I think I still felt comfortable with the the lads we had in front of goal and Aiden, obviously putting his body on the line and keeping out important important shots and, and that's that's the whole thing about a team sport. You need your defenders to be on top of the game and then hope that the attackers are putting the ball in the back of the net as well. You get Maryland back in here 
or Saturday night. I think they're second place in the league. Mm -hmm. You're what, third game in eight days or seven days? Something yeah, like something like that. But I mean, back to back wins, it, it, all, it always helps you. You don't feel quite as tired. I think from now, you just got to try and recover. Um, obviously, be a tough game on Saturday, which is every game, to be honest. Like, people are always wanting to come to Finley and, and beat CFC. So, whoever turns up, it's always going to be a challenge. So, I think we just have to keep focusing on our game and, yeah, get another win on Saturday. That's really important. I mean, the, the, what you look at in, in the game, right? Because the reality is, is only probably each player only probably touches the ball two to four minutes, depending on the level, right? So, you know, five to ten minutes each way, half, start. To get goals in those periods are just absolutely critical. So, and not give up goals in those periods are absolutely critical. So, to get that then and, you know, against a team, right, that we had some chances that we kind of let them off in the hook in the first probably probably first 15 minutes of the game. And they grew into the game and um, took us a while to score. But we got a nice goal from Nags. And then Alex's goal was a nice goal. And really... The most important thing is that there were goals that we try to like, that we try to score, right? It was in the way that we want to score. Yeah, I, I had no answer, so, but I just, I mean, we just keep stopping them, right? I mean, our, our philosophy is just to be, make it difficult, right, for them and for the opponent. We just want to make it difficult. We're not saying we have to be great. We just want to make it difficult, put them in spots that, that it, if they do get chances, they're not great chances. And guys have stepped up for that. Was there anything San Diego did coming into the match that had you concerned with that you saw your team handle the business? Well, look, I, I, I'll be honest. I mean, San Diego, they're a team that wants to play football, and they want to keep the ball, and they're brave, and, uh, and they want to play. So that, that makes it difficult when you, when you want to try to pass and move. And then also on the flip side, that you, you increase the risk of giving a goal. So they did a couple little things that were different than they did last, last time that we played them, um, so we had to make, a, make some adjustments, but that's the fun part, right? It's a chess match, you know, that we have to make do things, make things that counteract them. You love playing against a coach that's willing to do those things, so. You know, been first since the start of the season. Do you feel your team is rolling right now? No. We haven't really played the level that, that we are capable of or we want to play, so we're, we're a long ways away from where we want to be. That's scary. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about your match Saturday night. Maryland, they're the second place team, and twice Yeah. Well, I mean, it's big, right? I mean, with a schedule with only 24 matches, right? I think the league is 24 matches, and playing teams multiple times. I mean, you look at, uh, we played these guys over there, we won 5 nil, and now it's only 2 nil. I mean, it's just, just because you're playing multiple times, it makes the game tough. So this game is really big, but they're at the advantage. I mean, they're fresh, they'll come in, we'll be our third game in eight days. Uh, so with travel in there too, so that's that that'll that'll make it a very difficult game. Anything about your team that surprised you a little bit this season that's helped to get you where you are right now? Maybe a weakness has turned into a strength. Or I mean, like players players make plays, and that's the most important thing. Guys have made plays on both sides of the ball. I mean, what do we want to say as coaches? Like I played the game. I don't kick the ball in the goal. I don't stop the ball from going in the goal. Guys have to be in the spots to score goals. We just orchestrate to put them in the right spots and plays them made play. So that's that's impressive for them. So you're the conductor right now, correct? Yes. Right. Yeah. It's all Coach, it looks like the, the depth is, is, is being tested and, <laughs> and, and you know, you still get the result even even despite that. So kind of talk about the next man up kind of thing happening right now. Yeah, I mean, look, I mean, our goal was to build something that guys could play and they could they could play and they could contribute, right? It's a difference in playing and then contributing and then making a difference. And right now, the guys that have come on are making a difference, which when our guys come back, I mean, that puts pressure on them to be at their highest level. And hopefully it's the right time that you really, when they all come back, which is a long time, but <laughs> yeah.